today's Defense Team News Minute, the Commander of the Army, Lieutenant General Paul Winnick, tells us the benefits he sees coming from the newly released defense policy. The policy identifies some notable improvements for the Army, such as acquiring ground-based air defense systems and associated munitions, modernizing weapons effects simulation, replacing the family of armored combat support vehicles, and improving the fleet of IED detection and defeat capabilities. Here's what Lieutenant General Winnick had to say. The defense policy is actually the very first Canadian defense policy that has ever had a section specifically uh, dedicated to the reserve. So that in itself, I think, underscores the emphasis that this policy has on reserves. The first is on recruiting, and it's an initiative that's already underway. The Canadian Army now handles all Army Reserve recruiting, um, and we've been able to actually get down the recruiting time to between two and four weeks. One of the most important things that's actually in the, uh, in the policy that will incentivize reserve service is guaranteed summer employment for the first uh, four years of reserve uh, service. This is a tremendous, we've never done this before, and this essentially guarantees that a young person who joins the Army Reserve can pay their way through university or post-secondary education fully by just uh, being in the Army Reserves. The third aspect that I think will really incentivize reserve uh, service and make it very interesting is additional roles and tasks that will be directly connected to supporting regular units and integrating with regular units. For example, we will be designating some uh, reserve units as mortar units, uh, direct fire support units. There will be other units that will be designated light urban search and rescue units. And these will be additional roles. Uh, they'll have their principal role. For example, they might be an infantry unit, but they may be actually given an additional role to do light urban search and rescue. So once again, some great opportunities. I think it's a really exciting time to, uh, to join the Army Reserve. You can learn more about the defense policy by visiting the defense team intranet site and visiting CAF social media accounts. There, you can access additional resources, including backgrounders, infographics, and videos to help you better understand what it means for the defense team in your organization. Stay tuned for the next Defense Team News Minute as we talk more with senior leadership about what the policy means for the CAF. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.